Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch News. Well, last week, the Senate Finance Committee held a hearing on cattle supply chains, Amazon deforestation. And testifying on behalf of cattle producers was U.S. Cattlemen's Association Director Emeritus, Leo McDonald Jr. And he told members of this powerful Senate committee that America's cattle producers continue to raise the highest quality beef in the entire world, but are now threatened by Brazil's bad actors and actions in beef production. We didn't do it by degrading our environment through illegal deforestation and poor farming and grazing practices, nor did we use it by using, using forced labor, both slave and child labor, or by bribing meat inspectors to improperly launder and dump beef into the international market and even our own markets that had had fraudulent laboratory checks, or by exporting product that was rampant food safety concerns, including the finding of blood clots, bone chips, abscesses, and I can go on, that's been a chronic problem with Brazil, or by failing to notify our world communities in a timely matter when we had FMD outbreaks, foot and mouth disease, or BSC. No. The U.S. cattle industry didn't go under those corruptive practices. Now because of Brazil's ongoing food safety and animal health concerns, Montana Senator John Tester, along with South Dakota Senator Mike Rounds, have reintroduced their bipartisan bill that would suspend Brazilian beef imports to the United States until experts can conduct a systematic review of the commodity's overall impact on food safety and animal health. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day.